Hi guys, today I'm filming my SF9 photo card video. It's kind of like a start my SF9 collection video. I recently started collecting three members of SF9, which is uh, Youngbin, Insung, and Taeyang. And I'm very excited because I've been saving up their cards for I feel like the whole year of 2020. I originally wanted to collect everything and then film the video so I can just do everything on one video. Some SF9 cards are kind of hard to find and I feel like it would take really long to eventually get everything. So we're going to do a start my SF9 collection video right now and then my next video will just be finishing my SF9 collection. Thank you to anyone that has sold or traded SF9 cards to me. It helps a bunch and I get really excited when anyone offers me SF9 cards because I just really wanted to get this video done. And yeah, let's get into it. So in a thumbnail, you saw I had <laughs> these. I'm not actually collecting non like photo card things. Maybe I will in the future, but for right now, I'm actually just focusing on selfie photo cards. Usually selfie photo cards are like the main priority for me. And also I might go ahead and collect non selfie cards later. But for now, since I'm like collecting three members all at once, we're just focusing on selfie cards. So. Yeah, um, this is the binder I'm going to put them in. If you watch my photo card videos, you'll know this binder. Well, <laughs> the groups that are listed here are actually not all the groups in here, but this is the binder with Taehan, Monsta X, and 17. So we're just gonna stick SF9 at the back. I actually was going to buy a whole new binder and put SF9 in their own binder, but I actually forgot to pick one up. I'm just gonna put them in this binder for now, but they will eventually be getting their own binder. So I do have a template ready. I have all three individual templates. Here's Youngbin's, this one's Tang's, and this one is Insung's. Also, I am so happy. I asked for this iPad for Christmas and my mom actually got one for me. I wasn't expecting her to actually get it. The reason why I really wanted an iPad is so I can do this in my videos. You know, like before I, I had to bring out my laptop and it's really annoying. Having the iPad mini, oh, it's so helpful. I was actually thinking of putting Youngbin first because he's the leader. But Insung is the oldest, so I think I'm actually going to put him first. So my plan, I guess you can kind of see like, I had like an idea in my head, but haven't actually like physically tried it. Um, I was thinking of doing, since I'm collecting three members, which is very satisfying, the three members for the first album, then the three for the second album, you know, and keep going like that. Um, so yeah, let's do that. This is kind of better. I moved my studio lighting a bit back, so now there's no like, harsh glare up here. Oh, by the way, this is my pile of cards. These are all the cards I have collected so far for this video. I did pre-sort them and put them in order of like each album. I am missing a lot of cards, but um, I think there's only one album I have the full set of everyone. But yeah, so I'm so excited. Let's get into it. We'll start with the debut album. I have just two of the members, Insung and Taeyang. We will put Insung first. I will put a white paper for the spots that are missing a card. And then the next album, the next album that was the Feeling Sensation album, next is Burning Sensation. I'm looking at the Insong template, but <laughs> again, I have the two same members, Insong and Taeyang. I believe I do have Youngbin's Feeling Sensation on the way, but I still have not yet found his Burning Sensation. If you have it, let me know. Next album here. By the way, these concept cards I'm not collecting them. I probably would, but they're actually huge. Um, and I don't, I never pulled any of my biases for those. So yeah, it, maybe if I pulled my biases, I would collect them, but it's just like not a huge priority. Um, and then breaking sensation, let's see. Again, I'm only finding two members. So for this one, I have Youngbin and Insung. For now, let's put white papers in the um, spots with missing cards. So that will be the first page. I'm like so annoyed at myself that I didn't buy a new binder because <laughs> this one is like becoming really full. By the way, this is an Insong Japanese postcard. Someone gifted that to me. Again, they did the huge concept card. I'm not going to collect that. Then we have Knights of the Sun, which is actually a nightmare. I don't know why, but the Knights of the Sun cards are really hard to find. Each member has two cards. I only have two. I have one Tang and one Insong. This one was a trade, and then I luckily found this on Mercari. 
I don't know why these are so hard to find. I will definitely struggle with this one. There will obviously be two sections for this since each member has two cards. Um, so I have this Insong, missing that one. And for Tang, I'm missing that one. And for Youngbin, I'm missing both. His cards are so cute. <laughs> Look at this one, he is so adorable. There's the darker brown and the lighter brown. So we'll do the light brown first. I pulled Jaehyun's card from my album and his was also the light brown one. We'll be putting a lot of white papers in this section. <laughs> so I have none of the darker brown one and I'm missing Youngbin's light brown one. This one also came with the circle cards. I actually pulled Youngbin's from my album, but as I said, I'm not really caring to collect those. So the next album is Mamma Mia. I think I have all of their selfie card. We're just gonna do the normal album first because they did release a special edition, but we'll do the normal one first. So I do have all of the cards, thankfully. I pulled um, Taeyang's from my album. Insung was a gift, and then I bought Youngbin's. It actually kind of sucks that the Mamma Mia cards are gonna be separated, but this is how we're doing things for now. Let's fill this with white papers. Maybe for it to work better, I will actually collect some concept cards if they're smaller, but there are no small concept cards for any of these albums, so it will be like this for now. I'm just using Young Vin's template. Then we have the Mamma Mia Special Edition. Oh right, Mamma Mia also comes with these ticket cards. I do have Young Vin and Insongs, but um, yeah, as I said, we're leaving that. Then the Special Edition comes with this white border card as well as this film bookmark. I have Youngbin and Taeyang. I'm missing in songs. Oh yeah, so next album is Sensuous. Um, I I did have a trade lined up for that card, but the person like almost scammed me. I saw right through them. I did. I saw right through them. I can see right through scammers. This one comes with a lot of cards, but only two selfie cards. So there is the selfie, and then they also come with a magnet card, but they're really big and heavy, so definitely not collecting those. I have all of their black card, but I'm missing the um, Youngbin colorful card. Let's just follow the template. Which one shows first? So the colorful one shows first. Okay. And then we'll put away the black one, have all of the members. I actually pulled both of Insongs from both of my albums. <laughs> that was lucky. All right, moving on. Next album on the template is Narcissus. Um, so we have the Temptation version. Oh, I think this is the album where I have all of the cards. I do. I have all of their this type and I have all of their this type. Awesome. Yeah, this is the only one I have everything completed for the selfie cards. For Youngbin, they put this one first. So we will do this set. And then we'll do this set. They also come with these concept cards. This one. Whoops. And this one. Don't really care too much about those. And then we have RPM, which is one of my favorite albums by them. I actually do really like these ID cards, but um, they will be a low priority. I feel like I do want to eventually collect the non-selfie cards, but very low priority. I probably wouldn't trade for them, but I would just buy them on Mercari. This one's going to have to be split up, which is really unsatisfying, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> all right, so these are all of the cards I have. I just have um, Youngbin and Insong's white back, but I do have all of their black back. Never mind. Okay, we're doing the black back first. Oh, that page is all filled. That's so nice. <laughs> It doesn't really bug me too much that the album cards are separated. It doesn't bug me, so um, you don't need to give me suggestions on how to change it because I don't mind. <laughs> and we have these two. The next album, which is, I know I'm missing like a bunch of cards. I don't really care too much about them or the ID cards. So then we have their next album, First Collection. This is 
the first album where they did more than just two cards. There was four. Sorry, I switched to In Songs template. So two cards for Golden Rated and then two cards for Black Rated. In Song is the only member I have everything. These are all the cards. We'll do Golden Rated first. There's an In Song. And then I have a Youngbin right here. And for Tan. There we go. We'll just do those ones for now. I just chose the cards randomly. Here's the other Insung Gold Rated. I'm missing the other Youngbin for Gold Rated, but I do have the other Tang right here, so we can put those away. Okay, let's fill that with papers. For the Black Rated, here's an Insung and Youngbin and Tang. And I have all the rest here. So I'm just missing one Youngbin card. Not bad. Yeah, there were also other inclusions for this as well. Actually, just the standees. And those I'm definitely not collecting because they're big. <laughs> then we have uh, Glorious. I really love the cards for Glorious. They're so cute. I do have quite a bit here. The different types are Golden Chaser and Black Chaser. I have the whole set for Youngbin, or this is not Youngbin. <laughs> I have the whole set for Insong. I do have Youngbin's Kino card, which is really nice. That's why he's in the sleeve. Um, I really want to collect the other members' Kino cards, but they're actually really expensive, so I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I'm very lucky to have Youngbin's. I did find a trade for that. Um, and then Youngbin, I am missing his other two cards. I don't know why. I literally thought I had, like, I know for a fact I had his other one. So I either, like, misplaced it or I don't know. But, <laughs> um, so I only have two for him. And then I also have the entire Tang set as well. Almost complete there. We'll be doing Golden Chaser first. Here's a, um, Insong, Youngbin, and Tang. The other Insong, I'm missing Youngbin, and here's the other Tang. Now we'll do the Black Chaser, Insong, Youngbin, Tang. And then just have these two. I'm going to create a section for the Kinos just in case. I maybe find them for good prices. <laughs> Filming this on my blanket instead of my showing my hardwood floor. So we'll just stick young bins here in the middle. By the way, obviously I only sleeve the Kino cards or like any kind of expensive cards. I feel like it's totally unnecessary to sleeve normal album cards because first of all, I just have way too many cards. It's gonna be, it would cost way too much money in sleeves. And to have to sleeve all of my cards would take days and days and it would make my binders so thick. So I just really don't like doing that. <laughs> we'll do their very last album. Okay, let's look at the Tang template this time. We've been looking at Insung and Youngbin. I really want Tang's Kino card, it's so cute. Okay, so very last album is their special history book, which is their fourth year anniversary special album. There are three types of cards, and I normally don't collect non-selfie cards, as you may know, but um, I actually bought three albums, so I had enough to like trade for my biases. So yeah, that's why I decided to collect the non-selfie cards. And I'm collecting the Cape Town for You cards too. This one is the one with the name on the back. So we'll do the selfie, then the no name on the back like this, just the signature and message. For the selfie card, it's really sad, but I only have Tang. <laughs> No one is wanting to trade my equivalents. We only have this one to add. Oh, did I put papers? I don't, hold on, I forgot to, I think I forgot to put papers here. I did. Let me just do that real quick. Okay, my bad. Anyways, next on the template are these, the uh, concept cards that don't have the name on the back. I am missing Tang's, but I do have Insung and Youngbin. I have Tang and Youngbin. And 
very lastly, we have the K-Town for You cards for a special history book. Luckily, I have them all. Um, I pulled Young Bins from my album and then traded for these two. All right. That is how I stored my SF9 cards. I was at one point thinking about doing a page per album, but I feel like this way it saves up more um, pages, and I would much rather save pages than the um, pages all have like the albums together. I I want to keep it like this. So if if it bothers you the way I did this, then just don't watch. <laughs> just click right away. Um, but I like it like this, so. That is how we're doing it. Maybe in this video I can make little um, name tag sticky note things. I actually bought these so I can do this. Not just for this video, but like if I ever did like setting up binder for a certain video. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're going to do like all different colors, I think. Oh, cool, okay. We'll do orange, green, yellow, then pink. That was really small. <laughs> I was used to writing them like on these like really tiny ones. <laughs> so this looks really dumb. I could actually probably write maybe the album name. FS for feeling sensation. <laughs> Since I actually have room on these sticky notes, I can write the album name. I'm kind of like writing sideways, so my writing turned very ugly. I wrote light because the card for this one is lighter and this one is darker, so I'll do light, dark. Oh my god, that is like unreadable, but I wrote Mamma Mia SE as in special edition. I wrote Sensuous EE, which stands for Exploded Emotion because that's the version name. For this one I wrote zero because that is the version name. FC stands for first collection because that's the album name and then golden rated two because it's like the version two, I guess. <laughs> I wrote name because the second concept cards have their name on the back, but these ones don't. And that's it. I don't need to write anything for these because they're just nothing. There's no album after this one. That is my SF9 collection so far. I really wanted to have everything for this video, but my next one will just be finishing this collection off. So um, yeah, look forward to that sometime in the future. I'm going to, I'm predicting maybe by like mid 2021 or maybe even earlier. It just depends if I can easily find the remaining cards or not but that would be everything that is it for my starting sf9 photo card collection video i hope you enjoyed and thank you for watching bye